Today I'm showing you exactly how to download Forge for Minecraft 1.21.8. So to get it, you want to head over to their official website, which I will link down in the description below. And here we are on the 1.21.8 page. Currently, there's only a latest installer, but for versions that have been around for longer, as you can see, there's a latest and a recommended installer. If by the time you're watching this, there is a recommended version, then I highly recommend that you download that. Anyways, in our case, there's only a latest one, so we can simply click on this installer button here, and that'll bring you actually to a brief ad page that Forge runs on their downloads. Don't click anything here. Wait for the timer to run out in the top right hand side, click on the skip button, and your download will start automatically. Now as you can see in my downloads, I've got the Forge installer. You'll notice that this is a jar file, which means you need to have the Java development kit installed to be able to use this. If you don't have that yet, or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, here we can simply double click on this file and then the Forge installer is going to go ahead and open up. If that doesn't work for you, then you can right click, open with, and then select the Java platform I just said you needed. Anyways, now as you can see, we've got the Forge installer. Make sure you're selecting Install Client, then click on OK, and the installation process will start. Now as you can see, the installation process has been completed. This won't take long, it only took about a minute for me. Anyways, now we can click on OK over here, and because the installation is done, you can actually delete the installer log as well as the installer if you want to. Now here inside of the Minecraft launcher, you want to open up your installations tab and look around a bit and you should hopefully have Forge 41.21.8 as an option over here. We can simply click on that and then click on play. After of course understanding the risks that come with playing modded Minecraft. So to use Forge mods, you need to place them all in the exact same location. To get there, you want to press on the Windows and R button at the same time on your keyboard, and then in the box that pops up, you want to type in app data, then hit enter or click on OK. In this location over here, you want to go into the folder called roaming, then .minecraft, and then you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. Anyways, inside of this mods folder, you can place all of your Forge mods. Just make sure that they're compatible with each other, your game version, and Forge itself. Anyways, for right now though, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I definitely do hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye bye